We just turned this regular piece of MDF into, bam! This antique, vintage, rusty sign using a little bit of Mod Podge, some sawdust, and paint. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? Great, that's what we do on this channel every week. This week, it's Technique Tuesday. Except on a Friday. But you can watch it on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Kim saw this sign on Pinterest. It was metal and rusty and it looked repurposed. And I'm not a metal worker. So I said, hey, I can redo that out of some MDF, Mod Podge and sawdust. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do some fake rust sign upcycle thing. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our stuff. This was an easy shopping list again. I say it all the time. We just needed a, a two foot by two foot MDF board. I think it's quarter inch thick. Some paint, some Mod Podge, and our secret sauce, the sawdust. <laughs> Step two. Ooh, now we're gonna lay down a base coat on our MDF. We're using this Cascade. It's teal. It's teal. And that's so as we distress it, it's just peeking through from the bottom. So we're just starting with the foundation of this teal color. Who paints this way? <laughs> and <laughs> done. <laughs> Step Three. Now we're gonna add our texture. We're gonna use some Mod Podge and some sawdust and we're gonna make a big, a gloppy mess and spread it on the board. Maybe. I put you one right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a lot of... Sawdust? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's so awesome. oh my gosh. It looks cool. It looks like it would feel weird. Yeah, it looks like it would feel weird. What do you think the consistency is? What do you want? Like baby feed? Yeah, I think what else could be? Like cinnamon sugar. Egg mixture, but you don't want to do that. Just say baby foods. I got it all mixed up. It's like a uh, paste, baby food, like thick applesauce. Soupy ice cream. Soupy ice cream, yeah. <laughs> now we're just gonna dab it all over the board, like in a random pattern so that it doesn't look like we dabbed it all over the board. <laughs> Big splotcher right here. There's some splotcher right here. In the corners, the corners would be rusty. Yeah. Looking good, huh? <laughs> Can't even tell you. All dry. It's already looking rusty. If you don't have sawdust, you can always use sand, dirt, some kind of powder. Just to give it a little texture. You're just trying yeah. to give it some texture. Something to give that paint something to grab onto. Step four. Now we're gonna make it look all rusty. We're gonna use some dark brown acrylic paint, some orange acrylic paint, some silver, a little bit of copper, and some yellow and just layer them. We're gonna start with a dark brown and just layer it in there. Stipple it in with the brush. You can use the junkiest brushes you have. This is the brush left over from the sawdust and stuff. And come and lay down a base. Ooh, that looks good already. So you're just going over the sandy areas? Yeah. yeah Mm 
my... All right, without letting it dry and without changing my brush, I'm just gonna move on to orange and kind of do the same thing. Try to keep it a little dry, a little speckly. Again, not even letting it dry. Now I'm coming in with a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit. Just a smooch. Yeah, I don't know that it needs some yellow. I feel copper. I'm giving this little pop of colors in the copper. Same brush, still not dry. Coming in with a little bit of this copper. Just a little, little smooches of copper. Mm, I like the way the copper looks. Can't really do the copper though. Now it starts to look thick. What happens is you can't stop. You start dabbing, you can't stop. it we're gonna whitewash the all over the teal everywhere where there's teal we're gonna use this wood tint whitewash stuff what does it say about oh, look at this. Um, wipe excess wood with a clean cloth if desired repeat apply a second coat clean up with soap and water Wait 30 seconds alone and wood tint to absorb. Yeah, I think you're supposed to then wipe it off. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. So that's okay. I think that'll look fine. We'll at least start with that. Um. Like a watery paint. So that whitewash tint really wasn't what I was going for. It stayed soupy for a long time. I had to wipe it off. I like what it looks like on the rust. But now I'm gonna come back in with some chalk paint over all the teal, cover it up. You should like flick it in there, like wisp it into the rust. Yeah, let me get a paint down and I'll do some nice paint. It's okay, that's fine. Trying to make it look authentic, Kim. It's just oh. about dry. <laughs> Sorry, I painted the sides. <laughs> it's just about dry. Now we're gonna hit it with some high heat in some spots to try to crack and bubble the paint a little bit, mainly around where the rust is. So we do this a lot when we're trying to get the paint to dry quickly, but you don't wanna put the heat in one spot for too long because it crackles and bubbles the paint. But that's kind of what we're doing here is allowing it to crackle and bubble to give it that textured finish like the rust is eating away the paint. Now it's looking like some of the authentic chippage. See the chippage going on? Yeah, I do. Step six, and now we're gonna add the stencil. We're gonna make it a sign now. We got a big old stencil. It is a 24, well, this design ends up being like 24 by 23 or something.
Next step, we're gonna add a coat of Mod Podge over top of the stencil. So if you've watched us at any time before, you'll know that our number one tip for stenciling is put this coat of Mod Podge to keep it from bleeding. Now, this one, because there's so much texture on this board, I'm a little nervous about the bleeding, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add the Mod Podge and see if I can get it to help and help prevent bleeding. Add that seal around the edges of the stencil. All right, Mod Podge is dry. Now we're gonna come in with some more ink paint. I guess it's chalk paint, but it's ink color. Yeah, ink color. And we're just gonna dab it on. Dab it, dab it, dab it. I'm gonna use these little square dabbers this time. I'm all out of sponge brushes. I'm out of so many things. And that's thick. All right, looks good. What do you guys think? Looks pretty authentic, right? Woo! Almost looks like a real metal sign. It does, it looks really good, it does. Oh my God, oh my gosh. <laughs> Ah, it's so pointy. Bam! What do you guys think? Does it look real? Do you guys like this technique? Do you have any other techniques to make things look rusted and worn? Well, what do you think of the stencil? I was thinking about offering the stencil in our store and maybe letting you customize the initials and the established date. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? You think I should, somebody interested in that? Yeah, let us know in a comment <laughs> down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button because we do this every week. Be sure to tick that bell to be notified. And until next week, uh, maybe watch one of these videos over here, like this one right here, or Kim's. They're all good. Uh, what was that? They're all good. They're all good. <laughs> <laughs>